I recently had a case where the client came in and told me to please don't judge me. Listen to my story. And I told him, I said, I, I, I don't judge clients, I advocate for them. And he says, good, we'll get along famously. And he told me a story which was unreal. He had a terrible substance abuse problem in his life. And I stopped him right there and I just said, there for the grace of God go I. I don't know why I don't have one, but I don't. But I have the greatest empathy and sympathy for those that do. Because it's like a monkey on your back every day, it haunts you. So he proceeded to tell me how he had made incredible strides, but he would get weekend passes because his daughter was down in the Cape and he was up in Dorchester at a halfway house. And part of the rules of the house was as you go up the ladder in growth and commitment, it's almost like a leash, they give you more of a leash. So he earned weekend passes. So he went down to see his daughter and somebody called DCF on him that he was an inappropriate caretaker because he was still the old person. And that was then, this is now. He was sober, clean, and had been for quite some time. But DCF doesn't know this. They get the report, they have to go out and investigate it, that he was neglectful because he had a past. Well, we all have a past, some more severe than others. But the DCF investigator, much to this person's credit, took the time to sit down with my client and do the hard and the much legwork that was needed. And what we did, we got the investigator all the collaterals and their phone numbers and all the evidence of how he was attending AA meetings every day get an AA sponsor, got the name of where he attended the AA, also the AA sponsor who could corroborate that he was in AA heavily. And now he was in an AA, but he was helping others in AA, along with himself along the road to recovery. He also held on a full-time job, and that full-time job he was outstanding at, Monday through Friday. And his boss loved him, because there was never a time that this young person ever said no he always helped everyone and everybody. He was a hell of a team player, they all said. Got affidavits from them, gave it to the investigator. He also was involved in volunteer work in the community, cleaning up, doing this, doing that. He was everywhere because he knew that if he stayed sober, he had to stay busy. And he wanted to get to a point where he felt completely safe so that he could go back and parent his daughter, which was the reason he went into the halfway house. He said to me, you gotta have hope. Without a hope, you got nothing, Kevin. And he says, my only hope is my daughter. I love her so dearly, so much. And every night they would FaceTime and he'd say his prayers with her. And he'd tell his daughter his dreams, his goals, his aspirations, but how he wanted to parent her and be a part of her life every day, not just on weekends. And how he wanted to see her go to school and be whatever she wanted to be because she could be anything she wanted to be in this country. And this guy had turned the corner incredibly and he put everything in his life on hold. He put everything behind him. The past is what it is, but the past is then, this is now. In the final analysis, the DCF investigator completely got it, much to her credit. She looked at him, looked at the daughter, and took the time to see him with his daughter. And just five minutes with this guy, with his daughter, and you knew, you knew, you knew that he was a great parent and he put it all behind him. And he kept marching forward in life Others would have given up, but it just goes to show you, don't give up, don't give in, never let up, never let go. And he loved his daughter, and she was his hope. And the DCF investigator, when all was said and all was done, called me and said, there's no way I can support this against this man. He's done everything he's supposed to do, and then some. He's a great parent, he's a great dad. And I just said to that investigator, I totally agree with you, and I thank you. But do me a favor, don't tell me that. Call my client and tell him that. He deserves that praise. He deserves to hear it from DCF, how proud they are of him. And that's what she did. And that was just so nice of the investigator to do the right thing and to give praise where praise absolutely deserved to be.